do you feel that quotas for the underprivileged should be by caste or individual need? Because let's suppose, see in the US when you apply for uh, financial aid, uh, there is a form of financial need. Now there is no question about religion, but it's a question about uh, family income, net worth, assets, these kind of things and points given for if you are handicapped and so on. So if suppose India developed with, along with the Aadhaar card or something, you know, a kind of an individual need assessment, some sort of a database. Uh, and then said, okay, we'll take the bottom 10% of individuals and it has nothing to do with your caste. It would also dismantle the, all this vote banking. Because when the, when the individual can get qualified based on their own personal need, uh, which has nothing to do with collective identity. You know, then in a few years, they will not be uh, going after some vote bank leader who says, I'll get you a better deal if you vote for me. And this fragmentation of the political, uh, uh, you know, vote, voting system and parliament would go away. What do you think of that sort of approach? You know, um, I think a number of people have written about it and so on, that if you did actually have that... Uh, sort of a classification, you will find that uh, there's a huge overlap between caste and, and uh, you know, and, and, and class. You know, that's what we used to say all the time. So I think, uh, you know, if you uh, even go down to identifying in economic terms, etc., you might well find that the same, uh, you know, you, you cover the same set of people. But now, if you call it differently, then, then the maybe, won't be, alliance will change. I, 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 I suppose so, and the way of thinking would change. But again, I think, yes, uh, a start has to be made. I think the start has been made by making this reservation of 10% for the economically deprived segments of the population that has just been, that's just been announced. But is that based on but, uh, I, individual? It's based on individual. And not collective, right? Nothing, nothing. It's just individual. And that's just been announced mm. by this government. That henceforth, there will be a 10% reservation for the economically deprived segments of the population, irrespective of whichever caste or you know class or creed that you came from. So the, now, the criteria the, for deprived will be will be defined in economic terms. Totally economic. Terms. Economic terms. That's very good. So, so that's then, so that's the beginning. Yeah. That's the beginning. Yeah. But you know, uh, I think, uh, and I'm not completely sure, but uh, of the dates and so on. But I think even um, our one of our great leaders, Ambedkar Sahib you know, in the constitution, I mean, he's part of the, had himself said that this uh, caste-based reservations and, you know, have to have a finite life. Right. You know, and, and then they would go, but they've continued. But uh, I think uh, this again requires a lot of public discussion, uh, you know, a lot of public discussion and an and, 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 uh, and, uh, argument in, in, you know, where by one can at least uh, ensure that those who have been deprived, you know, for centuries, do not stand to lose out in any change that we want to make. But suppose you first increase this 10% and keep making this the new floor, the new, then when a lot of people are, who need this help are getting it through this mechanism, yes. then automatically the other mechanism of caste will lose value and you can then gradually bring it so, down. So, yeah. so if you were to announce every year, okay, we'll increase the 10% to 20 and the other one will bring it down by the same percentage. Yeah. This way we are balancing the total amount we're giving but on a different way. Yeah. That could phase out the cost bias. That was one way of doing it but without even having to bring down the other because I think what you're suggesting very rightly so is that if you want to make a line shorter, you have to draw a longer line beneath it. That's right. So that's, that's right. what you need to do. Yeah. But, but that's, the, that's the process that just started. Now, you know, so how you carry this forward, how does the discussion happen in our, you know, democracy in the public domain is something that we need to be quite sensitive about. Yes. And carry forward this discussion. But, but clearly, said, people have been hurt. People yes. have been hurt for a very long time. Yes. And they deserve and need help. Yeah. That is absolutely the case. So I think the, 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 the economic criteria for positive discrimination uh, is, is something whose time has surely come. Mm. Very good. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here and also hit the bell icon to make sure you get notified. To donate, please click this button.